Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Forza Horizon 5 Let's Play. My Xbox is screaming at me for trying to take a screenshot, but that's besides the point. Today, we're looking at the 350Z. I'm getting messaged, oh my god, ah! Well, with that sorted, this is the Nissan Z FE. Interesting. But, at the end of the last episode, I said that we were going to go ahead and take a look at this thing. And today, that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Because this thing only has three gears, and I don't think we can do much to it. What's missing here? Something is missing. We'll figure that one out eventually. But we're going to figure out what we can do to this thing. We're going to take it up to the top of S1, and we're going to go and probably take it cross country. Oh, that actually makes quite a fair bit of difference. Okay. We're going to go ahead and give it some race cams and valves, twin turbo, and probably some oil changing stuff too. Wait, did I just see this thing nearing... a lot? Okay, um... Game, you can... Game, game, you can stop now. Game, you, um... That's a lot of power. That is a scary amount of power. But let's see, what happens if we fully upgrade this all the way? Oh... Oh no, <laughs> this could get interesting. <laughs> okay, so we get to go up to a race transmission, which thankfully for us has a bit more than three gears. Because this thing starts out with just three gears. Oh, I guess what I should do very quickly is check what tyres I can put this on. I can't change them, all I can do is the tyre width at the back, so I guess we're staying with off-road race. Do we go put some rims on this thing? Yes, we do. I think we're going to go with... Yeah, we'll go with these. What could possibly go wrong? Well, it looks like we can't engine swap either, but we can do a drivetrain swap, so we'll go and put that... Oh. That is a huge jump. 826 all the way up to S2913. Wow. I've got a feeling that we're probably going to need to do that because of what I want to do with this thing today. So what we're going to do is go back to our transmission. Never mind, that puts the engine well, transmission in it that we need. We'll go and put a drive line and off-road diff, and that is our car set up at S2913 with um, wait for it, 1,145 brake horsepower. Oh dear, that's we've got to take this thing off-road. This might have been a bad idea. So with our car fully upgraded, we're going to go out and search for cross-country only. So we're going to go down to here, cross-country racing events. Let's go see, do we have any that are marked as new? We do. In fact, we've got... Ooh, this could work. That would be chaos with this too. I think before we do anything, I'm going to try it out as possibly my favourite track which is down here. El Desenzo Cross Country. We've done this one before. Actually no, scratch that. We're doing this one. Okay, so here we go with getting cars selected. Now we've got a whole heap of vehicles, including a bright pink Civic, but we're gonna go with the FE. Oh no. Here we are, Las Dunas Cross Country. We are gonna go ahead and start race events and go and see which side of the mountain it sends us hurling down in this thing. 1145 brake horsepower, all wheel drive, FE. Oh dear. Let's see, we're gonna go hurtling down here. This film, this very heavily reminds me of the start of this game. If you're around when I started that, so let's play then. Yeah, okay. Not even 20% progress. And we have just flown past everybody. I wanna remind you all, this is in S2. S2, we don't usually have much luck racing against people, which is why I usually build cars to the sort of lower classes, so A and B class, or maybe, just maybe S1. But this thing goes out to S2, it is a little slower, who am I kidding, it is very slightly. So much so that a few of them have already started catching up. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, you get that? We've got it. We've barely got that. Oh, where is the rest of the video? 
Don't come out of the Okay, I don't know what happened there. On to the Baja circuit. Let's see. Oh dear. We good? Yep, we good. This thing is all over the place. Out of sheer interest, at the end of this video, I'm going to come back to this track with this thing stock and see just how it would have performed. So I've got a feeling that stock, this thing probably wouldn't have done so well. But I'm honestly amazed that this thing has a lot of power. Now, what this thing is, you've got to remember, this is a Nissan Z. Now, these things are kind of known as the trumpet of cars because of their VQ engine. So, yeah, I've learned something. Thank you, Internet, it's actually been useful. But, uh, yeah, for the trumpet of all vehicles... Oh, dear, no, it's all gone wrong! Oh! Oh, oh that's... Yeah, that's a painful landing. I nearly had it. This thing apparently does not like the way those dunes align, which means going off of here... Okay, no, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. No, we're not. No, we're not. Where are we? Are we good? What is what is definition of good? Because at the moment this car is anything but that. Uh, yep. That was... <laughs> it was all going so well. It was all going so well. Oh dear. Okay, I'm just gonna... Oh god, this, this suspension is all over the place. Right, let's just make a few quick changes to it. Here we are, last harness cross country. I don't know if I said that right, I'm gonna assume, hope, I have anybody that actually knows how to pronounce that, please let me know, thank you very much. Right, we'll wait for this to load, we'll grab our car, and go again. Here we are, from Las Tunas to Las Hanas. What, I don't know. But here we are with another cross country circuit. Well, print race. Away we go again with uh, some improved, hopefully, suspension, and a massive jump ahead of... Did I get that? Okay, I did get that. <laughs> oh, we nearly landed on someone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Never mind, we're good, we're good. Oh, are we good? No. Oh, this thing is... Oh, we go this way. We go... Oh, dear. It's all gone wrong. We're, at, we're losing to a truck. Oh, okay, that's, <laughs> that's another FE just out of nowhere. Now, the interesting thing about this is because of the way Horizon 5 works, you can't take off the front wall bar, nor can you take off the collapsible sun on the roof. Which is interesting. Honestly, I would have loved to have been able to remove that, because it would have made this thing a little bit lighter. Because uh, then I could probably chuck it around a bit. And I would have loved to have been able to change the tyres too, but... Alas, it is Horizon 5's way of making Forza Edition cars, and there is nothing I can do about it. Let's see, we pull back up to this truck, which is good. Oh dear, we gotta go through water. Actually no, we have to go through water, that truck is... Oh, that truck had some issues. But where is it? Oh, it's... Oh, there it is! Yeah, um, yeah, mm, ah, yeah, I, that's a truck. Just handbrake that. Oh dear. Come on, let's make it. We can do this! Can we do this? Yep, we can! Oh, nearly. This thing is very, very fiddly to control. It is... Oh. Oh dear, that, that's a jump. Please don't land in the tree. That works too, I guess. <laughs> oh, this is an interesting little vehicle. I would definitely give it that. So, we'll go ahead and make our way through the checkpoints, and... Oh, thank goodness we finished on road. And hopefully... Yes! We went from a second to, when it loads, a first. How? <laughs> How did we do that? So close at the end as well, between me and the truck. So somehow we managed to survive that. How, I will never know. I think the reason we're getting crushed is because this thing has a camo paint job on it. So we're going to go and change that, just very, very quickly. So let's open up our design editor, we'll go into here, we can't do advanced, which is a shame. Oh, we only get one paint option. Well, we can't have that, can we? This, why does this look very close to how the Z actually has its paint? Okay, do we go with bright banana yellow? Yep, <laughs> we're driving banana yellow. Oh, that's a lot of loud people. Nope, we're going this way. Yeah, we're gonna go down here, 
and go trying to find a barn, which is going to be interesting because we're going to try and find it at night. This could either go really well or horribly. In our case, well, who knows really, we've got a good car for it. We do have a collapsible sun on the roof. Let's see, I'm going to check with the obvious place first, which is just at the top of here. And then, we're going to drive around until we find it, which might be up here somewhere. Okay, there's a lot of trees here, and from my knowledge, there's usually a barn find hidden in trees. Only half of these trees I can't seem to break. Which is proving to make finding this barn a little bit trickier. Maybe more than a little bit. But we're going to check over this way. Because, if we're lucky, it might be down here. Okay, so it's flat open ground. We've just been across here. So if we take our drone and fly back down... Hmm, this could be a tricky one. It could be a really tricky one indeed. Unless we go into... Just like an area of trees, because usually... By all barn fun logic in the past... Where there's been a lot of trees, there has been a barn. So now, we've got to go and see if that is true. It's not a barn, but we have found... Oh, go back a bit. We have found our car. And after some searching, I gave up. Until... Wait. Is that it? Is that it up here? It is! We found it! Oh, please tell me, please, please tell me. Oh, it's a Mustang! Oh, I talk about famous cars. This is the one from... Ah, uh, what's that movie with the detective? Uh, hang on, it'll come to me. Very, very nice. What a find. Ah, what a find that was. I'll get to work on it and see if I can remember the name of that film. Best of luck to you, Alex. But, uh, yeah, that's where it was. Must have been past this place about 7,000 times. Right. Anyway, back to what we're doing today, which is taking this rather unusual Forza Edition car, which is very banana coloured, and we're going to go and find some more cross country to do. I have a very, very dumb idea. And, um, here it is. There it is. We've just gone ahead and unlocked the final showcase of this game. Now, a while ago there was a remix of this, which I did end up doing and made into a separate video, so if you want to see that, do go ahead and let me know in the comments. But in the meantime, let's go and do this showcase how it was meant to be done. I don't know if that was meant to happen, but my computer didn't like it, and my console didn't like that either. That was not anybody else's video, that was my console deciding it did not wish to want to do anything, really. Hmm, that's not good. Slightly concerning, you know. Well, opening cinematics did not end up crashing my console in the end, and no, that was not your video, that was my console deciding it didn't want to do anything. So we're going to go ahead and take that Ford Bronco into a buggy in the beast. And try and see if we can outturn some monster trucks. Yep, you heard right. Monster trucks. Let's go. This was a very dumb idea. Why did I decide to do this? Because it's fun. There is the first monster truck. Oh dear. Let's see. Now we did a showcase in the previous video, but come on. This one's got to be done. And it was also an interesting showcase remix too, but we'll deal with that one when we get to it. If you want to see that, let me know. No, I already asked that, but oh well, gonna be too short. Look at that view. In the meantime, let's try and not become a hat for a monster truck. There we go. We are doing pretty good for this. Let's see. Do we have anything on the radio? Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh no. That's. Hmm. Yep, <laughs> that was painful. <laughs> That's why I don't try and tackle a monster truck. Because, uh, they will fight back. Right, let's go and see if we can catch up to it. <laughs> this could be interesting. Checkpoint, 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 come on. Okay, there's a monster truck. 
We are on to a little bit of the festival circuit. Okay. Oh, the monster truck has decided to go that way, and I cannot blame it, because that has a lot of pallets. Just try and see if we can cut the corner. That's a plane. That was a plane. Come on, we'll go and floor it this way. Chuck it down a gear. Come on, little four Bronco. I've forgotten the name of this one. There's like three Broncos in this game. Maybe four. Let's try and see. Oh, please don't land on us. Okay. Um. Okay then. Okay, now there's a second one. Please don't squish me again. Okay, yep, we're good. We're good. We are. Oh, God. I think we might be good. Never mind, there is one of them. There is a monster truck. Okay, motorway. Should be safe on here, hopefully. Should. There's a jump. Oh, hello. That's a lot of things. Are we gonna, are we gonna hit the plane? Nope, we didn't. We're safe. We're good. Let's go. <laughs> okay, now we've just got to avoid. The... Is that plane in the race? Nah, probably not. Well, if it is, it could get very, very interesting. Because there was a showcase that started off the game, we were racing against the plane. That was showcased in episode 1 of this Let's Play, and let me know if you've seen that. Let's go and see. I Never mind, there's too many bushes, can't see a thing. But we do get to jump over a temple, please don't hit the edge of it, that's the last thing we need. This thing's already taken quite a fair few knocks and blows, so let's see. It's a, it's a very, very tricky showcase, this one. This car is extremely light. This is a very dangerous place to be. This is a very, very dangerous place to be. Okay, so those things have got power. Did that thing just do a wheelie? Excuse me? That thing just did a wheelie. Okay. Nope. Right, let's see. Checkpoint. Well, at the moment, it looks like a couple of monster trucks are going to beat me to it. Yeah. Don't think we had that one. Hold on a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, uh, excuse me, game? D you know what? I'm not going to question it. Let's see. You did it! Of course you did it! Now, how about a victory lap in that thing? You know... Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that sounds like a very good plan to me. Now, I know there's a lot of accolades that you can get from doing such stunts and stuff, so let's go take a monster truck and go have some fun with it. This could get interesting. Okay, we've got to try and do a lot of things. We've got to smash 50 bowling pins. Put this thing on two wheels. Uh, um, <laughs> that's not meant to happen. I think I've broken the game. Forza. <laughs> oh no. Okay, can we at least? Okay, we can reset car position. We're okay. Oh, no, we're not. Oh! <laughs> oh, no. Hang on, we can get our way out of this. We can do this. Nope. No, we can. Um. Uh, excuse me? Have I broken the game further? I don't, don't think this is meant to be happening. And. After that amount of chaos, we did it. <laughs> What on earth happened there? <laughs> oh, okay, that's... Yep. <laughs> we literally tied, excuse me. 333.077, and the driver got the exact same. Sir, how? And our winner is... Myself. <laughs> I'm not going to question that, I think we're just going to move on. 
Now, I said I'd take this thing back to stock and go and do that first race again towards the end of the video, so I think that's what we're going to go do. What could go wrong? I mean, we've already had a monster truck go absolutely haywire. So here we are, back at the last Tunis Cross Country for the last race of the video. As promised, this thing is back to stock, which means no upgrades, no tuning, only chaos. And there goes everything, this, oh, this, yep. Mm, that was a bad idea. So if we go now back in third, as we go all the way down here, honestly, I'm going to be quicker just holding the clutch in. Oh dear. Oh god, this was bad. How are we doing 170 something? We've taken flight. Let's see, can we make our way past? Uh, no, we can't. Yes, we can. No, we can't. Maybe. So you say, or well, you know how I say earlier about sticking to A800? About that. <laughs> Let's see. Oh god, nope, it's gone. It's gone. Oh. Yeah, okay. Maybe this thing is not a good stock. <laughs> so if you get this thing, I definitely recommend upgrading it, or at least putting it to all-wheel drive, or doing something with the suspension, because stock, this thing is not good. <laughs> this thing is really... It's gone again. Uh, brakes? Yeah, no, I'm not doing this. <laughs> yeah. This thing stock is honestly not good. So, uh, if you want to get one of these, I highly, highly suggest going and upgrading it because, um, yeah. Anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you've got any ideas as to what else we should do in this series, apart from uh, nearly rolling this thing over, do go ahead and let me know in the comments, because uh, I love to read them, I try to apply to as many as I can. And if you're new here, feel free to go ahead and subscribe, it's free, and you can always unsubscribe later. And also, if you like this video, feel free to go ahead and leave a like on it, and maybe share it as well, because that would really support the channel a lot. So yeah, thank you very, very much for watching. I will go ahead and see you all in the next one, which won't be involving this car, unless it's upgraded, because uh, stock this thing is absolutely terrible. And yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, tech, out. Okay, so I'm going to tune this thing so it's actually drivable.